vision is the pathway of fulfilling your glorious destiny what you see is what determines what you get your sight is what determines your height in life what is vision number two the discovery of oneself as unveiled by your maker who is god a discovery of who you are is one of the vital key to a life of fulfillment and greatness john 18 37 the word of god is your access to your vision isaiah chapter 29 verses 11 and 12 and the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is seen which men deliver to one that is learned saying read this i pray thee and he said i cannot for it is seen as long as you cannot discover what is in the book you keep struggling in life so the word of god is the mirror of our destiny that shows us exactly who we are not what people say second peter 1 21 to 22 god's word shows you number one who you are not who people say you are who number two it shows you what you have number three it shows you what you are sent to do on the earth jeremiah, jeremiah 1 5 before i formed thee i have sanctified you and ordained a mission for you so number four god's word also shows you what you can do who are you from god's word number one you are a creature of mammals psalm 139 and verse 14 i am fearfully and wonderfully made which means god has created you to live a life of wonders number two you are unique and distinct first peter chapter 2 and verse 9 when you don't know who you are you will get angry when you see other people when you know who you are you are contented with god number three you are created for distinction matthew 5 13 to 15 you are the salt of the earth you are the light of the world it's not what men call you that matters it's what god calls you let your mentality be controlled by what is in the book who are you from the book number four you are created to walk in dominion ephesians chapter 2 verses 5 to 6. number five you are redeemed to reign as king on the earth genesis chapter 17 and verses 5 to 7. and number six you are redeemed to be a blessing and not a burden to your world galatians chapter 3 verses 13 to 14. be a blessing think other people into your dream don't live a life me myself and i look for how to put a smile in somebody's face be thinking of how to make somebody's life better and god will never leave yours the same way i'd like you to know that marriage is good and it's your entitlement genesis chapter 2 and verse 18 the bible says it's not good for a man to be alone i will make for him a helpmate what are the requirements therefore for marital fulfillment number one you must be born again john chapter 1 and verse 12 as many that receive him he gave them power to become the sons of god as many as receive him to them he gave the power to become maritally established the requirement for marital fulfillment number two you must remain in christ and in zion you can't bear fruit until you abide john 15 verses 1 to 2 stay in christ because where you are found is what determines what finds you your location determines your allocation number three never go after other gods trust god don't look for ungodly alternatives your testimony is about breaking forth of the lord number four engage in kingdom advancement endeavors engage in soul winning engage in prayers for the kingdom engage in serving physically in one unit or the other keep serving god matthew 6 33 number five keep your hope alive don't be hopeless to him that is joined to the living there is hope ecclesiastes 9 4 to 5 number six maintain your job don't let nothing steal away your job look cheerful look fascinating look bright lastly number seven connect to prophetic help prophets are for help in Hosea chapter 12 and verse 13, I stand on the prophetic unction upon the prophet over this commission and I decree total liberty for you in the name of Jesus. You will see good this week in the name of Jesus. Between now and the next three weeks, you will locate your God ordained spouse in the name of Jesus. I decree this week, financial blessing will hit you in the name of Jesus. You will not be stranded this week. No accident for you this week no regret for you this week in the name of jesus the god of bishop edipo goes with you you will return with testimony in jesus mighty name